This is a man-made obstacle out here at Love Day 4x4 Adventure Park, but it represents many real-life situations in Australia that you may come across. Here's one for you. What about Gunshot Creek up at Cape York? Not dissimilar to this at all, is it, Dave? Now, look, there's plenty of chicken tracks you can go around, as they call them, on the old telegraph track. But if you want to go through the tough tracks, there's a couple of things to consider. First and foremost, make sure you're fully aware of the ground clearance of both your tow vehicle and your caravan or camper trailer have, and also how those suspension setups react over bumps. Your tow vehicle, you know, likely gonna have a pretty good suspension setup in it, but in the camper trailer or caravan, is it leaf spring? Is it coil spring? Is it air if sprung? You know, all of those combinations and different lengths will react differently over bumps. Well, I think one of the first things you should do when you come across an obstacle like this, it's gonna confront you. Stop, have a look at it, get yourself calm, get a plan and then execute the plan. The critical part of that plan is thinking about the line you're gonna take as you go through that obstacle. You're not necessarily looking for the toughest one, you wanna try and keep the tow car and the trailer flat together and work out ways that you're able to maintain your momentum without either of them getting hung up and stuck and blocking that track. I'd refer to this obstacle as a three-dimensional obstacle. You've got the undulations on the ground here that are gonna throw the vehicles in different directions and you've got the vehicle and the caravan, remember. Now the third dimension are the walls with this because there's bits sticking out the side. If the caravan goes the wrong way or the vehicle goes the wrong way, you're gonna get side panel damage. This one we're on right here is a perfect example. There's a bit of a height difference between us, Macca, but when you stand up on it, Not we, en we end up about the same. So we've seen a couple of cars come through here and yes, as the car goes through, it'll get unsettled, but you gotta watch out for the trailer as well. It will kick it up as it comes across and if you're on the left, no worries. If you get too close to this wall as that trailer kicks, you might end up doing a couple of unintended modifications. The other one to remember is you must carry a little bit of momentum coming through an obstacle like this. Not speed, don't get a run up, you'll cause yourself problems, but do carry a little bit of momentum because there's a bit of loose stuff on the bottom here that will bust your traction up. So when you're going off road with your camper trailer or caravan, make sure you know exactly what you're doing with it. Get a bit of experience on how it reacts over these terrains and also make sure your insurance can follow you there because at Club 404 Insurance, as long as your off-road caravan or camper trailer is legally allowed to be there, we'll follow you there.